that light's still falling from the ceiling. I'm finally back, y'all. I, uh, I had got sidetracked uh, today. I had to do a couple uh, courier missions for some electronics. Um, blah, blah, blah. But now that I'm back, I'm going to try to cram all these um, tapes together. Because this hose got to go. I already told you that. But let's get into the in intricacies of this and how to navigate it and yada, yada, yada. The specialties and the things that I think are fraudulent because there are things here. It's, it, I mean, it's a great synth, but I think it's overrated. And it's not because I don't understand synthesis. Because I do understand synthesis and I understand that every synthesizer has its own dialect. But I want to try to just get this all wrapped up and get the play playing. And display this and let you guys hear it. So... Let's talk about effects real quick. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We were on oscillators. That's right. Let's talk about these oscillators. So I told you, this knob directly in the middle. Let me zoom in with this piece of shit. All right, this knob right here directly in the middle is a split between, is a blended of oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. If it's to the left, it's oscillator 1 only predominantly. You hear it. And as you go to the right, it's oscillator 2. You can only hear FM if you're in, if you're using oscillator two, and like I said, oscillator two and oscillator one are very important. Oscillator two dictates what type of FM engine you're using. So let's go. Let's uh, go to oscillator two and let's select classic. So that's a sawtooth. We'll turn it to pulse. So I'll display this for you. Saw square. All right now. In classic mode, the type of FMs you have is positive triangle, triangle, wave, noise, NL, NL and R, and then N right or N R. Yes. Alright. Now how this works, we'll put on positive triangle. <laughs> Typical FM. You don't hear the FM when you turn to the, to the left side. You hear it fully if you turn to the right to the two because the two is the sum of it. Like one one is modulated by two and then that's the sum. The ring modulator is down here. The noise is uh, right here, or no, I mean the noise and ring modulator is right here. And this is the oscillator volume. Excuse me. This is the saturation. If you hold shift. You get you go through your saturation, which is um, you know basically the same stuff like light, soft, middle, hard, digital wave shaper, which is like sine shaper, rectifier, bit reducer, rate reducer, rate follow, low pass, low follow, high pass, and high follow. And after zero is when the uh, saturation starts. Before zero and less than zero, you can still have os you can still hear oscillator volume, not at negative 64 is muting it. But a little bit lower. And as I now I turn the saturation. Turn saturation on wave shaper. See? Now turn it off. So that's how that works. Now the ring modulator is down here and it can be activated even if your oscillator volume is at zero. Check it out. Hold shift and you turn it. Silent ring modulation. That's a hack for those who use the virus, but not really a hack. But I'll show. I'll get into a hack for you guys. Uh, route an LFO as the ring mod source, and then you have a ring modulation LFO envelope, and then you could do even more stuff with that and get creative. Uh, I do trickery like that on the blowfield. You know, cause that's the baddest box, really. But <clears throat> so on a classic. Um, wave shapes there's a there's the spectral wave and uh let's get out of two turn it to one or something let's get into some classic shapes all right so
See that? So you can get into some stuff like that. Now, there are 62, uh, 63 different waveforms, or um, whatever they are, single cycle waves. And um, they're on this tape right here. You can select them. I have a printout. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty hard to see. I'm sorry. I hate this camera. It's a piece of shit. I'll always say that until, the, until I bash it or something. Um, but, so, every oscillator on here is basically a synth engine. So, that was classic. Now, if you change oscillator to anything other than classic, you have a different... Oh, if you change the hyper saw, then you have oscillator sync frequency. So what happens is the saw spread for so from one to nine saws. When you turn it all the way to the um right, that's nine saws and hyper saw. Uh, now it's spread. Let's take a listen. You know what? Let's reinitialize this. I don't have time. Turn to the left. Turn the hyper saw on. You take the hypersaw. I took two. Okay, now I have two synth engines. The oscillator one and two are both hypersaw. I spread them about 70 on 75. That's the local detune. That's the spread. It's about 75 on each. These knobs are so fucked up. I can't barely get them to. It's. I don't know, man. Whatever. Look. Now, regardless if sync is on or off, if you start turning this, FM becomes sync. So that's a super saw, a double super saw, 18 saw waves spread out and synced. You turn it off. That's some heavy shit right there. You can get into modulating that. And if you do modulate that, you have to remember that it's going to oscillator to FM amount. That's what it's gonna, that's what it's modulating. Like if you're on LFO2, let's say if you're on LFO2 for instance. And you and you go to FM amount. Watch. Just that simple. So, some things can you can get things misconstrued on here because, like, a lot of times, some knobs have the same. Like, okay, these these two knobs. Like, if you get an oscillator, these two are the same function. These two are the same function. That's when you're in the oscillator mode, though. So you have to always remember that. Now, that was the hypersaw engine, so let's reinitialize, let's go to the next one, because I don't like to play games. I had to keep it moving fairly fast, because I got to cram these uh, back to back, because, um, yeah, it's just what it is right now. And we're going to have to deal with this. Now, wavetable, okay, we turn all the way to the side. So, it starts at sine, starts on the sine wave, and there are a hundred different wavetables in here, and the index controls what part of the wave that you're in. Interpolation is like kind of like on a blow field where you turn wavetable off and then it step it makes it a direct step between waves and you can determine directly in the, instead of that smooth transition that transition that's what you use interpolation for you crank it like this which it is it's crank them out okay you go back to the index select the wavetable inside out listen now if I turn that off. See how it blends? So that's how that works. Um, so you select the wave within it and then you play. Now I told you if you use anything other than um, 
if you use anything other than um, classic, you get a different type of oscill um, FM amount or FM mode. So you get frequency mod FM, and then you get phase mod FM. Now, frequency mod FM sounds like this. Let's turn it on. Now turn on phase mod. Check it out. So yeah. Low key start to sound like a piano, don't it? So yes, yeah, this, this you can get you can physically model on this thing definitely, but um I think this is much better, more versatile as a uh, blow field. Um but it's just like there's things on here that I, I think is stupid, like there's no attack level control on the filter, like you can't adjust how high the slope goes from zero to one twenty seven. You can only adjust I mean there's a sustained slope, so it's like you have a double release. It's almost like you have like a like a like a double release like this right here if you could see it on this paper right here it's like attack decay excuse me sustain and then sustain slope and then release it's like you have a double release that's redundant and stupid i believe on my own um, thing my own opinion and this is uh the sources the sources and, and destinations that you know i codexed it i was codexing uh percentages and stuff breaking stuff down on plus and minus and how it break and how it breaks down all the way to 100 uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff here, but you know, I mean, I like this box. I codex it. I, I, I see, I see how it works, and it's cool. But let me, um, let me continue on here. So then you get the wave table PWM or wave width modulation. Okay, now what this is is like having. Pulse width modulation on a wave table, but what you do is you actually are moving the width of the wave, so you're only getting certain parts. Kind of like zooming in on the a wave on the LFO when you're using a contour and you're using a wave instead of a regular like sine, saw, triangle. You're using like a a wave form, like one of these. You zoom in on the curves, and it and it'll only it'll loop it. It's almost like you're putting a loop envelope. On something, it's, I don't know. This is a, it's like kind of redundant. Like the blowfield, I got, I think the blowfield smash, smashes this shit clean. It is definitely the vaccine for the virus, 100%. I am not infected. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let this be corrected. I am not infected. This shit, it's cool, but I'm not, I'm not lost under the spell of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just want to see. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I gotta play, play to, pay to play. You know what I'm saying? I be treating these hoes. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really bang with this bitch like that. But as you see, she does some noise. But you know, like I said, you know, sometimes you know I'm a, I'm a Johnny, and this is just my little host, so I gotta play games. I gotta pay to play. But she can't stay here. Fuck that. So um, so when you start moving away with the round. It's like almost, it's like synthesis without a purpose, man. Cause like, I don't know, man. I, li I mean, I like it, but I just can't bang with it heavy. So you move the, you move the uh, wave width on that. And that's how that works. Now, jumping to formant and grain. Okay, they're simple and complex. Now, in the simple, you only have formant shift on both of them. Formant simple and grain simple. And then on the complex modes for those, you have form and shift and form and spread. Now on formant mode, the form and shift is like a whole bunch of bandpass filters and it's like basically almost like a cone, but they're like stuck. 
and they're stationary. They don't play up and down the keyboard as you go. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, in order for you to get this to be kind of chromatic, you want to set key follow, which is key tracking, to form and shift to whatever oscillator you're on. And that will allow the, the bad pass filters to move. And then you use the spread. See? See, this is grain though, so it goes up and down. So on the next tape, we're going to talk about the form. Well, you know what? I'm going to just wrap it up. I'm going to just wrap this up here. So that was Grain uh, FMing with a Wave PWM. Let's put on the Grain Complex. That's actually what it was. This shit goes, this shit goes crazy. So yeah. This thing, this thing can uh, go a little bit nutty. So let's get, let's get back to it. Change this around here. Let's get the format simple. Or complex, fuck it. Let's get a complex. Now listen to this. See how it's see how it's static and it doesn't move. Okay, so what you gotta do is you go to key follow, right? Set key follow. Set, set like probably sixty three. You go to oscillator one. Um, F, F shift, former shift. Maybe turn to 30 or something, or 31. You hear how clean it is now? You hear how clean it is? Hear how clean it is. So yeah, that's basically it. Like the form is is a bunch of bad bad pass filters that, you know, it's like almost like a cone filter kind of sort of. But I mean, dude, listen, I'm telling you, I got so many crazy hacks for this blow field thing right here. It's, I'm telling you, serious heavy shit, and we're gonna talk about it. I can make the os we can make oscillators. I'm going to show you how. I have the wavetable creator. I told you that. I'm going to put you deep. But I gotta cram these videos. So I'll catch you on a flip, Crow Town. You know what time it is. Break it down to fraudulent and the um, the uh, the fraudulent and the free range um, cool attributes of the of synth. I don't really want to bash it to death, but I mean the blowfield bad box.